Hi there, Jared here with Groovy Plants Ranch. Welcome to our greenhouse. It's a nice cold winter day here in Ohio, so I thought it'd be a good time to take you for a quick walk through our growing huts, maybe see some of the fun new house plants that we have, and just see what kind of plant treasures we can find. So I hope you enjoy. So here we are in the mercantile. It's a nice toasty 65 degrees with the heaters running. A lot of plant life inside, as you can see. Um, up first, we have some beautiful calathea. These are Beauty Star, Mayakono, and this one right here is one of my favorites. This is new called Fusion White. Look at the color on that, it's amazing. So we have some beautiful philodendron. philodendron. Uh, this is Brazil right here with the nice markings. And then we have Neon Pothos. We have Marble Queen and a few others hidden back in here. We have Pearls and Jade and Silver Ann. There's Pearls and Jade back there. Up next, we have some really incredible red. I just love the color on this. I mean, these are really nice little starter plants. And Rosso, beautiful. Some nice variegated ficus as well. Then all down through here, we have a ton of succulents growing for spring. Now you might see some of these little packets, sachets. This is a fun kind of novel thing that we do. More growers are doing it lately, but this is a biological control measure so that we don't have to use insecticides in our greenhouse. So pretty novel. It's uh, nice to know that we don't have to use chemical interventions like many greenhouses do. See, we have a bunch of cacti. The living stones are looking great. They're pushing new growth. And I'm just going to take you on around. There's too much to stop at everything, but some of these euphorbia are going to be fantastic for spring. The corn cob here. We have some really nice senecio, a great, great crop of variegated string of pearls growing. Here's a nice small crop of variegated string of hearts. Everybody loves that one. That's a collector plant. And here's one I haven't even put on our website because I know it'll disappear so fast, but this is gorgeous variegated calancho. Um, this has some of the most interesting variegation I've seen on a calancho. I mean, look at that. And beautiful flowers. Everything got watered this morning, as you can see. A bunch of little babies back here. Echeveria, minis. We did a novel thing and put agaves on hangers because they were in the way. So that's a strange hanging basket for sure. Here's some beautiful, uh, this is uh, desert diamond agave. Looks a lot like Kisho Khan, but this is a, a different one. Really nice. These are nice rosettes, nice and uniform. Here's one that's our hybrid. We've got a few of those left. Some really nice uh, uh, queen of white thread. This is a nice crop for sure. And here we have frostbite and they're just starting to size up. So we love our agaves. Uh, kind of goes way back in our company's history. One of the first plants I fell in love with. We have some Haworthy and Gasteria. There are too many here. A lot of these are from, from the private collection of Bill Hendricks. Uh, he is a legendary succulent collector. You see there's some nice bigger succulent material here as well and some cacti. More good stuff. We do have a few of these really nice serious Peruvianus here, these tall cactus. These are quite nice. And as we move down, we're getting into more house plants. So we actually have some really fun little miniature ZZ plants right now. I thought these were pretty cool. And this one is called uh, Zamicro. This is another mini. So I have two forms of minis here. You can see one's a little bit bigger. And then we do have the standard ZZ plant, which is quite a bit larger. I'm very excited about this plant. This is Fatsia japonica uh, spider. This has a really nice, interesting variegation on it, but you don't normally see Fatsia japonica available, so I was excited about that. Nice little ponytail palms. We have some Hoya. This is Hoya kentiana, really cool color. This will make a nice trailing plant or hanging basket plant. We have the amazing Sansevieria starfish. This shouldn't even be a real plant. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. And then a nice selection of other snake plants. 
a lot of bird's nest assortment, some six inch. We do have some very nice fiddle leaf figs, rubber plants in different colors. So that's pretty fun. I'm gonna take you next door, kind of behind the scenes where we don't normally take customers because why not? It's a cold day and uh, I'll just show you what it's like in greenhouse life, growing plants all winter long. And most of the plants in here are what we would call pre-finished. They're not really, not really ready. You can see we have been busy for spring and a lot of fun stuff growing in here. This is a fairly rare agave. This is called Nizendensis, no thorns. Pretty fun. These Echeveria are just kind of sitting dormant, just getting ready to, to wake up. We have some Pilea peperomoides waiting in the wings. Some very interesting young peperomia back here that we uh, are still a ways out on, and we've been growing a lot of aloe. I don't think you can quite see them, but we might see some a little bit further down. Here's one, actually. This is a nice aloe right here. So some really nice color on some of these. A lot of six inch material, a lot of, a lot, a lot of three and a half inch. And a lot of these are, are quite a bit small, smaller than, uh, than we would offer. So they're not for sale yet. This is a succulent ivy, believe it or not. It's a Senecio, it looks like an English ivy, but it is not. Um, it is a true succulent. So that's a pretty fun one. We have the pink Calicia here. I personally love my Scylla and, um, and uh, bulb forming succulents, which are all these here, and really nice foliage on these. A lot of these things are just starting to wake up. Here's a fun one we're gonna be offering this year. Look at the Senecio, pink variegation. This is a candelabra plant. It does get the tall, uh, tall stem. They get pretty unusual. This is a really fun plant, Lamatophyllum copper penny. These are just starting to wake up. And this is how we do it. You know, we have to start them. We do most of our propagation in-house. It's a bunch of nice little Pearl von Nuremberg. Here's how we do some of our stuff. These are our own hybrids of aloes, which most greenhouses don't do. Uh, they're own hybridizing, but we do. And you can see we start them in these little cups. And as things size up, we'll pot them up and start to evalu evaluate them for unique traits. More good plants. Got some pretty impressive prickly pear coming on here. I won't get my hand too close, but you can see they're pretty good size. And here the, the coveted string of dolphins. This is a very popular plant right now. You can see they're very nice. So we're excited about that crop. Many, many more succulents, more than I could even illustrate. A lot of uh, Haworthia and Gasteria here, more dolphins. This is a fun little plant. They're not gonna be ready for a while, but this is just a wild little Senecio. I love it. Um, it does this fun thing where it actually grows up out of the pot and then sometimes the stems go back in uh, like a snake, very unusual. Here's a, some fun little Crassula that are just now getting up to size. They're still a good ways out. We have some prickly pear here. We like the weird and unusual plants that some some would not consider attractive. And here's some really nice Echeveria that are finishing off. Aeonium kiwi, a lot of cactus. Here's Ripsalis cruciformi. These will be nice uh, hanging basket plants. These are just starters. They're just starting to push new growth. You can see that new growth on there. So that's fun. And the aloe, as I mentioned, these, here's pink blush. These are gonna be a little while, but they, the crop is looking really good. We have some unique pelargonium. A lot of young plants here. So that is just a quick run through of two of our growing huts. We thought you'd give, give you an update. Uh, hope the winter is going well for you and feel free to stop by if you need any house plants or just to get out of the cold. Take care and 